Everyone wants to be respected. It makes you feel important and valued, and everyone wants to feel that way. But as much as people say respect is reciprocal, when dealing with high-value men and women, you need something more to earn their respect. Something more like? Stick around till the end of this video to find out, as we show you the secrets to getting high-value men and women to respect you instantly. Are you tired of being made to feel like you don't matter? It could be your friends, family members, or even your girlfriend. Whoever it is, you need to earn their respect. But we're not gonna lie to you. Respect isn't a one-way street. You have to know that respect means different things to different people. For some people, it's getting greeted when they step into a room, while to others, it's about being listened to. For others, once you listen to their views and opinions about a particular matter, they feel respected. But for a high-value man, respect isn't about how people view you. Nah, it's way more than that. The dictionary definition of respect gives one of the most accurate views of the word respect. It's defined as a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. This really is what respect is about. It's not about getting salutes or shout-outs when walking down the street. Thugs and gang members get that a lot, but it doesn't mean they're respected. That's fear, not respect. What respect is when you're dealing with high-value men and women is them liking or admiring you because of certain qualities or abilities you possess. When they get to like or admire you, you tend to see things in their behavior towards you that show they value you. So note this, respect isn't about what is said, it's about how people behave toward you. You might be older or younger, it doesn't matter. When you're dealing with high-value people, you have to earn their respect rather than demand it. A high-value man knows his worth, and so does a high-value woman. People like that don't just put everyone on a pedestal. Nah, they aren't easily impressed by basic qualities. And for you to be respected in their books, you have to blow them off their seats just by being you. So how do you do that? First thing is you gotta respect yourself. It comes first because it's the most important of everything we'll tell you in today's video. You have to respect yourself. You have to treat yourself right, carry yourself right, and present yourself right. Only then will a high-value man or woman consider respecting you. A lot of guys make the error of thinking you need some crazy pickup lines to get a hot chick's attention. Well, you don't. Not saying it doesn't work for all those dudes on TikTok and stuff, it might even work in real life, but that's not the way for a high-value man. The way to pull those baddies is by respecting yourself. Self-respect is taking care of yourself because you believe you matter. It's you making yourself a priority, staying true to your values, and refusing to stand for degrading treatment. That's self-respect. When you live your life respecting yourself, the aura around you changes. People around you can tell you're on some different gravy, and since they know you won't stand for the wrong treatment, most people will back off from messing with you. Those that'll be able to step up to you are men and women who are confident in themselves and who see a similarity in how you present yourself and how they present themselves. If you've seen our previous videos, you'd know those people we just described are the high-value men and women. The next way to get respect from high-value men or women is to be respectful to others. Respect is reciprocal might be a bit too shallow to earn respect from a dude who has his physical body in check, who has millions of dollars in his account, or a beautiful career woman with a badass body and a confident aura to match. But how about the regular people around you? Your regular classmates in school, colleagues at work, or better still, those who seem below you, like a waiter or doorman. These are the people you get respect from by respecting. You don't have to be all over them to show that you value them. Nah, all you need is to show a little kindness, honesty. Just don't be a jerk. You're probably wondering why this matters if the people you respect aren't high value, right? Easy, a high-value man or woman might know he or she is better than someone, but they don't live their life that way. They try not to show it off or let it get to their head. Showing respect to random people around you just shows the high-value man or woman that you also might be high-value, and that's what they respect. You want more? We've got more for you. Another way for high-value men and women to respect you instantly is when you don't let people take you for a ride. When someone takes advantage of you, speak up. Don't get emotional, don't get erratic about the whole situation, but don't let whoever is at fault walk without a challenge. Be professional with your confrontation. Be diplomatic, but make sure you speak up. 
Everyone knows confrontation isn't easy. For some guys, it's even near impossible to instigate a confrontation, but that's what makes it a mark of a person deserving respect. And don't just speak up for yourself, but also for others. In this case, you have to be calculated before speaking up. You know what they say about bringing a knife to a gunfight, so don't do that. But when the scenario looks like something that won't get out of hand, then step up for someone who can't do it for himself or herself. Automatically, dudes see you as a real man, but women even find that one of the most sexy things a guy can do. That right there is a cheat code no one else will give you. The common belief is that women like a guy who can stand up for them when they're in need, but it's not talked about enough how much they love a dude who can stand up for someone else in need. That move is a power pack. You're showing confidence, kindness, and manliness all in one move. Everyone loves a person who cares about other people. It doesn't always have to be when the person is being oppressed or bullied. To earn the respect of high-value men and women, you should show that you genuinely care about the needs of others around you. It shows you don't only have the emotional capacity to pay attention, but you're also a good leader. Still about getting high-value men and women to respect you, one thing you must learn to do is be mysterious. Okay, not the horror movie kind of mystery, but don't let yourself be predictable. Don't be vulnerable to just everybody. Keep a little part of yourself for just yourself to know about. How can you do this? For one, don't talk too much. We can't say don't talk at all, but as much as possible, avoid being the voice in the room everyone has to hear. Not that you shouldn't chip in your quota, particularly when there's a topic you know a lot of info about. Letting people know you're intelligent is definitely attractive to both men and women, but try to create a balance. Don't talk when you don't need to. Don't be lousy and never gossip. Never, ever be caught gossiping or in small talk. Trust us, that one bad move of gossiping can remove any respect people could ever have for you. Another way to be mysterious is to learn to say no. Ladies like the yes guy, particularly those who aren't high value. They want a guy who always agrees to whatever they ask or want, but don't be that guy. Learn to say no when you don't agree to something or want to do something. And finally, to earn the respect of high value men and women, stop apologizing. Maybe don't stop completely and become rude, but don't always be sorry. We all have to make daily decisions to do what's best for us. When you do that, not everyone will be happy with your decisions, but you don't have to apologize every time. As long as you're doing what's best for you and not putting anyone's life in danger, you need to understand that you don't owe everybody a sorry. Do you want that cool, high-value dude at your workplace to vibe with you? Or that gorgeous chick in your neighborhood to respect you? Do all these and thank us later.